Good morning Maniacs, in today's video we're going to be talking to you about pressure testing the water system. In a previous video we showed you how we put together the plumbing. In today's video we're going to be adding end caps to the spots that are so open so we can pressure test it all together both on the city water side as well as the water pump side. So let's get to it. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. So first things first, in order for us to be able to pressure test our water system, we need to put caps at the end of the system just so water doesn't run out and we don't know exactly what's going on. Hold up. So we got these, these are also um, the shark bite fittings. All we have to do is put them at the end of our connections where we don't have anything plugged into yet. And this basically just shuts off the system at this area. Like this, whenever we go ahead and run the system, it'll run into the pipes, but it won't run out of the pipes. And we'll be able to see exactly where it's leaking, if it is leaking anywhere. Hopefully it's not leaking anywhere. videos I'll give you a short little walkthrough of our plumbing system that we have so far we do not have our gray water uh, tank underneath or a shower or a sink plumbed yet but we have our fresh water and our pipes run to where they need to go inside so I'll show you that really quick if you want to go back and check out our plumbing video and see how we did that you can go check it out right up there and here it is so this is our fresh water tank that is underneath our bed it is hundred gallons this is the drain pipe that goes all along there and out the back where we can hook up a hose and empty the tank if we need to. This is how we fill the tank, this hose going in here. That little hose is the one that releases the air as the water goes in. Back there is our outdoor shower, our hot water and our cold water. And there's our city water coming out of those pecs and coming down here and meeting the system. These are the ones, this is the city water that goes down and then starts into the system and will push through. This is where the fresh water tank will enter the system and then the pump will push it through. This one goes up and sends cold water to the shower and the hot water is coming from the other end. So they push through here, through our wheel well, through our wall, and then this is where they're stopping right now. So the first thing he is doing is he's running the water hose uh, all the way over to our water fill. And in preparation for things like this, we have already gotten a filter, but it is a filter that goes on the outside. So you hook it up to the hose before you hook it up to fill the system. So the water of wherever you're using it has to go through that filter before it comes into your system. And because we are just pressure testing now, but it's still water running through our system, we don't want to get any particles or any sediment in there. So we are making sure to use that filter. We also have a water pressure regulator that we got that was suggested uh, to us to use. That way you can control when you're hooked up to city water or whenever you're filling your tank, the water pressure that's coming into your system. So if you're somewhere that has just off the chain water pressure and it's just way too much for your system, you can tamper with it and tone it down a little bit. So what are you doing? So what we're doing right now is I'm gonna put a the filter, like she said, 
but instead of putting it at the actual water inlet, I'm gonna put it at the end of the hose because the water here is well water, which means it's not, uh, it has a lot of, it's hard water. It's very, uh, has a lot of cost, calcium and minerals and things like that. So on top of that, this hose has been very well loved. So if I just put it on here, instead of over there, whatever is in here will be filtered through here. So everything that we are using today and everything we have gotten for our plumbing system will be linked below. Um, either the individual links or our store where we have a plumbing uh, little folder there that has everything that we've used so far. Turning on! Um, it doesn't look like a lot of water. I turned it like four times. All right, so initially what we're doing is we're filling it through the gra gravity feed, which is basically just putting the hose right here on this hose or with this fitting opens and letting the water basically gravity fill into the tank. What we need to look at whenever we're doing this is check the three connections that go onto the actual hose right here, right here, and right here. Once we do that, we wait for it to fill up at least a quarter away. And then after that, we're going to be just making sure that there's no leaks over here around this connection over here and the same thing around this connection over here once we check those in uh, we're pretty much done with this basic connections the connection over here here and there and then what we'll do is we'll test either drain connections which should be filling up already and then after that we'll turn the pump on to make sure that nothing in this area is uh, leaking So I added a, an extra piece right here so that whenever we do open this valve, it doesn't drain over here. While what we're going to be doing right now is, is opening this up and we're going to be looking at connections that go right here and right here and the ones that go back there at the elbow. Okay. Right, let's open this up see how it looks. Hey, Gus is peeing. Now, drain is good. It's going to be the very scary part. <laughs> it's going to be turning the water filter, the water pump on. The water pump recommends you use a 10 amp fuse. And it's also recommended that it's on a switch because I don't have it on a switch yet. All I'm going to do is just basically add the uh, fuse and hope that everything works perfectly. In the future, we will add a switch to it to make sure that we can turn it on and off. But in the meantime, we'll just add the fuse. So right here, I have my terminal block. This top one right here is going to be the one that goes to the water pump. I have a 10 amp, 10 amp fuse, and all I'm going to do is put it right here in that section. How is it ready? It makes no noise. It's not that loud. It's on. Something, oh. It sounds like it's going through the system. Oh, it turned off. Why? Because it's already pressurized. Because it has nowhere to go? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh, now so we check all the fittings, except for the ones that go from the the city water. city water, which is going to be basically anything before here. We don't, <gasps> we don't you need. touched it. I didn't touch it. So we'll start at the beginning of one and then go. First, let's look yeah. at this fittings right here. All the Teflon tape ones. Yeah, everything looks fine. Oh no, there's a leak. Oh shit. Where? Right here. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> How cool! Look, we have an outdoor shower! Slow motion montage. <laughs> it really looks like you're like <laughs> in the actual water. I mean, the pressure's not. I mean, it's, it's what we're going to get for with a shower like this, but it's not bad. Well, it has to do with the pump. I don't know if it's the shower or the pump. It's a pump. So exciting, guys. This is so exciting. Both of us were really dreading doing this and just thought we were going to have to work with so many things. We don't think we're fully out of the clear yet. We are going to let the system stay pressurized while we work on a few other things and just see how it holds up. Before we do that, uh, we have one more thing to test, and that is the city water. So we are uh, we didn't want to get our hose that we bought, just because we're lazy, but we went to go get that anyway so we can get it hooked up and have it uh, stay on there and flowing so we can work on the city pressure, which is just testing one little section uh, more. But the fact that we filled that gravity fill, everything is sitting, staying pressurized, the outdoor shower works, we only saw one little leak right when we ran water through everything, but it's not leaking anymore. I'm not sure what was going on there, so we're going to keep an eye on it. Sorry about this iffy lighting. Um, we're going to keep an eye on it, and we put some fresh paper towels underneath the spots that look like they were having trouble, and we're going to work on a few more things, let it sit pressurized, and then uh, come back and check on it. But Nothing was spraying everywhere, no disasters, no, you know, run and get a towel. So, crossing our fingers, this seems odd for us to have this happen, but, you know, knock on wood, this is awesome. This is a big, big exciting step, and the fact that it's going so well is fantastic. So, next thing we're going to do is test the city water so for our host we got this specific host had really really good reviews on amazon it's from camco uh, and we got this one specifically because it's good for drinking water it also is supposed to be anti-kink it has this things at the end to make sure that it isn't kink and it's supposed to be very well made also it's a 50 foot hose which we don't expect to be needing 50 feet it's always good to have it just in case. So, better to have it not needed than needed and not have it. So whenever you're on the road and you have a campsite or a place you're going to be getting water from, you're going to want to put this water regulator in basically just to make sure that it doesn't explode your actual hose or mess up something in your system. You first put the regulator in. This one specifically had an arrow so it shows me where to put it on. But if you didn't know, it also has a specific ends that only go to the parts that they need to. So first the water regulator, water pressure regulator, then we'll put in the water filter. And then from there we'll put the water filter on the hose. Once it's tight enough on here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hose and hook it up to the actual system. Little by little. Works up to here. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the water on. So, as you can see, this right here jumped from 0 to around 30 PSI. The water pressure here isn't super, super great. But I can adjust this up and down in case I think it's too high or it's too low, up to a certain uh, PSI. Although we do have check valves, I want to make sure that nothing goes back into anywhere that it's not supposed to go into. So in the meantime, while we're doing the pressure testing for the city water, I'm going to take the... Um, fuse out for the pump so that water doesn't accidentally go in there in case we did something wrong. It's always best practice that whenever you have your city water hooked on, that you have your pump turned off. That's why it's good to have it on a switch. All right, guys, so that is how we pressure tested our system. From what we saw, we only had that one leak in between the actual pump and the accumulator, but it kind of just stopped. 
We're gonna keep an eye on it. We're gonna make sure that we have access to it at all times just in case in the future it does become a bigger problem. But for right now, it just looks like it stopped. For a project like this, we are very happy that it went as smoothly as it did. No major leaks, no spray hoses going everywhere, no water everywhere. So, we hope that you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining or educational. If you liked it, give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. If you know somebody who might like it, go ahead and share it with them. If you have any comments for us or any tips that you want to share with us, leave them down, leave them down in the comment section. And if you're subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to us. If you're not, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. If you want to support us in any way, just go down to the description section of the video, click on any of the Amazon links, and then buy yourself something nice. Whatever you want, just buy yourself. And as always, don't forget to enjoy life, stay positive, and keep going places so cool. Go, 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 go. Keep going places. Suckers. So